had an issue with the table. Let's discuss what happened. Okay, so let me show you what's going on here. I have three of these. I'm using two of these heavy duty, two inch by one inch steel angles. And I've already embedded one of them in right here. And then the other one is gonna go right here, just like that. So these are slotted to allow for expansion and contraction of the wood during seasonal movement when it shrinks in the winter time when it's dry and then in the summertime especially around here on the coastline it's going to swell so each one of these screws is centered in the slot and it's not cranked down it's just hand tightened into a little embedded anchor and a washer to allow it to slip. Now, they make multiple sizes of these, but this is just one that I've found that works good. It's a three quarter inch deep embedded anchor that you just have to drill a single three eighths inch hole and you can set it in with wood glue, you can set it in with epoxy, you can set it in with, you know, CA glue whatever you choose, just something to keep it from moving and cracking loose when you're tightening or torquing something down into it. So they work really good. And this, they, they come, the ones that I bought come with screws, but you know, I'm not a fan of the, the hex head screws. So, and they're all, these are all, they come in two different lengths. Actually, I have three quarter and one inch. It was a, pack and all the screws the threading on them is all quarter 20 so it's a very common size you can get a wide variety of hardware to work for it but yeah they work good Yeah, we did. <laughs> All right. That looks awesome. I know it's not perfectly flat, but compared to what it looked like, and I'll show you the picture that was sent to me, this is way, way better. Now, I know that because it was cut so bad from the moisture in the home, I'm not gonna get it to be perfectly flat anymore unless I re-sanded the whole thing, which would be a huge ordeal because this is a custom color stain, which would be very difficult to match the rest of the table. So to avoid refinishing it, where it's gonna be very visible, I'm just gonna refinish the bottom. And if the tint is slightly off, It'll never be seen, so I'm happy with this.
Okay, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope I was able to teach you something useful and the table is back home where it belongs and I'll share some nice pictures of it for you so you can see. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta flip it back over.